Welcome to Shanghai for the uh, stunning setting of the next stage of the Longines Global Champions Tour and the Global Champions League. Getting underway and to uh, this morning with our first class of the day and then later into the afternoon with the Global Champions League competition. Delighted to say alongside me, Jessica Kirsten in her uh, Prague Lions kit. Good to see you here, Jess. And uh, alongside as well, Frederick Tobacco, who's going to be bringing us all sorts of news and views from all around the showground, aren't you? We're going to try our best. <laughs> Now, Jessica, you are in involved in terms of the uh, sport for the Prague Lions, heading up the team, looking after the team, training the team, all that's involved in there. A big win in Miami Beach. Now, you said to me as we were going into the final stages there, podium would be good, you'd be happy with that, but you got to the top of it. Yes, absolutely. It was uh, particularly special to win the competition. Uh, we have a really, really great team feeling. The riders in the team really want the team to be successful. And uh, in Mexico, already with uh, London and Classic, we had two of our best team horses in amazing form. And we spoke there about using the two of them for the team in Miami and really having a go at getting to the podium. And uh, both Anna and Gerko did a super, super job to win that there. Well, you mentioned Anna Kenilworth. We're going to have a little look at the stats here because uh, Anna, her second season on the uh, Global Champions League and actually was the best performing rider in Miami as well. Super performance that she's had so far. Jumping being clear, as you say, with Classic in Mexico, one time full teach in the rounds in Miami. She's doing an amazing job. Yes, Anna is, uh, she's still very young. She's 21 years old. And last year was, of course, the first year at this level. And uh, she's seen a lot of the top riders and understands how much effort you actually have to put in to be successful at this level. And uh, really she has worked hard through the winter in preparation for Miami and Mexico. Um, and that straight away that was answered with a win in Miami. Of course, that's a little bit what you dream of, uh, but it's great motivation uh, to keep working hard for the rest of the tour. Well, come on to a little bit more of that in just a moment. Let's just take a look at the uh, highlights from the Global Champions League in Miami and remind ourselves how it played out. We are still in good position. We are fourth uh, so far. We are very, very close. Uh, the course today looks rideable. Nice course, I saw. We are in the lead at this time, but today we have to do the, again the, the, the jump. Uh, we just changed a little bit the plan for the team. Because the time uh, is short, but we have to, to ride clear today. That's the most important thing today. Here at Miami Beach, the second day of Global Champions League jumping proved an exceptionally tough test from Uliano Vezzani. When you see the likes of European champion Roger Yves Boss picking up a refusal on course, you know this is a track that means business. It was young Belgian rider Jos Valoy who gave us our first team rider clear to help his team on the road to those Prague players. There was the battle of the teams on nine fourths and Valkensvard United were the first of them into the ring. And two brilliant rounds of jumping, including a clear from Bertram Allen, helped nail down their result. Ten fourths. Again a refusal, this time for Michael van der Vleuten, yesterday's big class winner, throwing his team out of the running. And a poll for Ben Mayer for the London Knights means that Valkensvard United have won that battle of the 9-4 teams. It was Doha Fusan Qatar Sheikh Ali Al Thani who picked up penalties. Another gift to Valkensvard United, moving them up to at least fourth place. Time falls for Ryder 2 for Doha. Basim Hassan Mohammed dropped them behind New York as well. A second day of great riding from Anna Kelnarova keeps the Prague Lions on the podium here in Miami. There you go, that's what we want to see. Well what done. it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. And Herko Schroeder backs her right up with just a single time fall. Is it enough? The team goes to eight and the team goes to first place. What a great result from the Prague Lions. For the Scandinavian Vikings, a pole for Christian Allman puts all the pressure onto Leopold van Asten to repeat his day one clear. Maybe because of that pressure, he can't do it, and the Vikings drop off our podium. Then, last to go, overnight leaders, the Monaco Aces, and Guri uses up two of the eight faults they have in hand. Julian Epiard has the very first fence down, making for a nail-biting conclusion to this Global Champions League. And a second pole then delivers the win to the Prague Lions. And astoundingly, a third pole drops them down to bronze, with Valkensvard United moving up from ninth to eventual silver medal position. It was a difficult course, time really short, uh, 
okay, Anna started to, today for our team and uh, she did a fantastic round. And then, okay, I had to follow and uh, Clux London jumped fantastic. So uh, I'm very happy about uh, our performance. I'm absolutely over the moon because I completely didn't expect it and I didn't even know that we won. And then I just found out, you know, people running to me and it was really, really amazing. Once again, the Global Champions League team competition has delivered the ultimate in top sport and it is just going to get better and better. Join us as these 19 Corinthian teams will go head to head in Shanghai in just a few weeks time. Well, there a little reminder of everything that happened in uh, Miami. We're here discussing it as well. Frederick, I mean, the good thing is we were sitting watching that, watching Jessica's face, actually, the smile on it. It's, it's <laughs> fantastic to see. You You relived every moment, didn't you? Yes, absolutely. It's uh, These moments are what we dream of. This is for what we work for. And uh, certainly when you see them uh, being played again, you get, again, a little bit the, the butterflies and, uh, yeah, just how nice it was that they could have this uh, great start to the season. We could see the pride even <laughs> through those sunglasses. <laughs> pride in the Lions, <laughs> exactly, as you'd expect. Now, I mean, you, you yourself, I mean, you're, you're involved in the training of the team there, the managing of the team. You are actually a past champion of the Longy Global Champions Tour as well through its career. What, it's, what is it like now being in a different role? It's very nice to still be part of the Global Champions Tour and, of course, the league. Um, I have great memories uh, over the years uh, of all these great stages where we go to these amazing competitions, the countries that we travel to, uh, there's such great memories and it's, it's great to have the chance to have somebody as young as Anna who has the ambition and sometimes to be able to just give her a little bit of uh, a heads up to what to expect when she goes to a, a strange place. Obviously last year was the first time, this year she knows the countries that she's going to, knows what to expect a little bit more and uh, certainly as my part to be part of such an ambitious team as the Prague Lions, uh, especially with us looking towards the playoffs yeah. in, in Prague, and to be able to train uh, such a talented and ambitious young rider as Anna, uh, I, feel, I feel very proud to be part of the tour. Well, we're looking forward to all that, as you say, the playoffs coming up in Prague later on this season as well. Massive prize money for that. The series itself running through to Doha. We've had two legs of the series so far. These were the scores that we saw, the winning scores. Mexico, it was a six for the uh, Miami Celtics to finish as the winning team. And Prague Lions, as we saw, finishing on a total of eight in leg two. So, Jessica, it's, it's tough scoring out there. There's no zeros yet sitting there. Absolutely. It's been very tough competitions that we've had so far. And uh, I really think that you can see how much the teams need to pull together and each rider when they go into the ring to give their very best. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the zero to have a very good result. And uh, this really builds, I think, this feeling of a team competition. Um, and also that the, the teams do think to try to bring their best horses into these competitions in order to get the results that they need to make it through to the playoffs. Well, we're looking forward to all of that, and I'm sure you're going to be a part of that. It'll be a big part of the season as well. Frederick, you're going to be bringing us all the background news throughout I the week will. as well. You are. Look, looking forward to all of that. Well, we're enjoying being in Shanghai already, and so we're going to take a little look at what is this amazing city. Take a look at this. The Longxi Global Champions Tour lands in mainland China in the breathtaking city of Shanghai. In a stunning city centre location, it's the fifth time the event has taken place here. It's already brought some big names to the top. Riders from all over the globe centering to compete on another leg for the Global Champions League and Longxi Global Champions Tour. Well, an amazing setting uh, once again for uh, Stage 3. Frederick, we've just been talking about the teams and, and where they're going to sit for this season. What, 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 do, what do we think we're going to do? I, I want to ask one last question. I want to yeah. know where, where, where do you want the Prague Lions to finish up? What's, what's your goal? When are you happy about this launching uh, Global Champions Tour, especially about the, the Global Champions League? Where do you want to finish? Well, obviously, uh, regarding the Champions League, we want to be in the playoffs. Um, our goal is to be in December in Prague. Uh, as part of the playoffs and of course when you get that far then uh, yeah the goal would definitely be podium but you've won already one competition so uh, that, that you, it, apparently you're, you're very good there's 19 teams you've already won one competition and you only want to be in the, pr in the, in the, in the playoffs you, you're Jessica Curtin you're the team manager there's more ambition to that but I think that's already that's already good enough ambitious it goes it goes without saying that when you want to be in the playoffs that you want to give your best uh, at every stage 
and uh, the best means for me that you aim to be on the podium as much as possible. And uh, I think, okay, we've had one win. Uh, it doesn't mean that we're not going to have another one for sure. We keep we keep fighting, but it's it's not possible to bring every show the best horses. Mm. Obviously, we have to pick and choose. We are fortunate in our team that we have a few strong combinations of horse and rider, and uh, our goal will be to try and bring them as often as possible together. Like I said, to be to qualify for the playoffs. In which position to qualify for the playoffs? Yes, it would be lovely to be uh, the number one going into the playoffs, to be one of those four that don't have to ride on the first day. Yes, that would be amazing. Um, but you also have to make realistic goals, uh, thinking that the season is long, thinking about the horses. Also, uh, some of our riders do have to ride uh, the world championships for their country, so we have to sometimes uh, not have a certain horse available for the team, but we will look towards to manage that. But definitely, when we do go to the playoffs in Prague, it will be attack for the podium. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> answer my question. It's a mission. It's a mission. We're looking forward to all of that. Jessica, good luck over the next few days. Thank uh, you. And uh, we're looking forward to how it all unfolds for the uh, Global Champions League. We've got one competition coming up uh, into this morning, or whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. And then this afternoon, it is the Global Champions League as those teams do battle in round one. Looking forward to that. We're taking a break for a few moments' time. Not too long a breather, though, before we get into the action.